Hello everybody, welcome. Um, welcome this Saturday afternoon. Uh, here we are, here am I in the studio. Um, I'm just getting a few things dried off here. On uh, The other day I was just recently at a, um, it's like a, it's like a sort of upmarket kind of flea market, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I was there and we, Jennifer and I, and we saw, I saw some of these um, food warmers. That's the word I'm looking for, food warmers. And let me just bring the camera. You know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. these guys. Um, they are rather excellent for drying off stuff if you need um, if you need to get things dry. Uh, I don't say dry in a hurry but yeah uh, you know these are some things I've got I've got a few here as you can see on these um, food warmers. The good thing about them is they don't get too hot and you can also put something like a piece of some of this soft um, stuff down on top on top of the food warmer and that just lifts it up a little bit so it's not in direct contact if you know what I mean with the um, with the with the clay piece just come over here as you can see I've also got I just want to show you a little bit of my setup, you know, how I do things, because um, we all do things differently, don't we? But as you can see here, I've got the fire going today. Uh, yeah, maybe we could do with another another log on there. I'm gonna keep this. Good old box stove, cheap and cheerful. And if you put some, if you put some bricks on the top, as you can see that I've got there, um, I'm drying off my plaster bats down along the side there, um, and I've got more of these um, pestles and mortars here, as you can see, on top, and these are drying off. And that is all because over here. I've got my kiln packed full of uh, raw ware here, ready to do a bisque. So I'm actually hoping I'm going to find room to put some of those pestles and mortars uh, in there. So anyway, where was I? Where's the tripod? That's not what I'm really about to do, but I just thought I'd update you. There's a lot that goes on, you know, in a pottery. <laughs> There's a lot that goes on, uh, on in a pottery apart from making pots, as I'm, I'm sure you are aware. Um, there's so many, so many periphery, routine kind of jobs. There's a lot of routine things that go on and um, in the background. The actual amount of time that we actually spend sat on the potter's wheel just churning out pots is only a relatively small part actually of the of the whole process because apart from the throwing there is of course the finishing off, trimming, handling, fitting up, drying off, getting making sure everything is dry. That's actually uh, involves quite a lot of handling of the work, picking it up, putting it down, checking it, putting it on the stove, putting it on, on wearboards, putting it in, in racking, putting it, you know, places where it can dry off. Places like over there where I just showed you those uh, little food warmers. Um, what else? Packing into the kiln. Like you see there, I've had to pack all the dry pots into the, into, for a bisque firing. Um, what else? Yeah, unpacking. <laughs> Not to mention firing the kiln, of course. 
and then unpacking it and then everything's got to be dusted and then, then before it can be gla glazed it, it's yeah it's got to be dusted before it's going to be glazed and uh, repeating myself there um, and then it's got to be repacked again into the kiln you know and then it's got to be fired and then it's got to be unpacked and after it's unpacked it's then got to be all the bottoms have got to be cleaned off you know where they maybe have rough places and that is then the finished product but can you see what I mean from A to Z from A to Z there's a, a, a lot a lot of uh, routine uh, jobs that go on in any kind of pottery so you know I like to try and just show you a few of those things that we have to be involved in. You know, when I come into this into this studio in the morning, it's cold. The first thing I've got to do is light the fire. So that means I've got to make sure I've got wood. Now, have I got kindling wood? Have I got a lighter? Have I got fire lighters? Have I got logs? All of that just to keep just to keep the place warm before I even start. So there you go. That is life. <laughs> Anyway, I'm actually here on the wheel at the moment. I'm going to, I'm going to be making some... Um, oh, let's just keep the camera about there. I'm making some double, double vegetable dishes. So... Let me just go about that. Um, I've already started actually. I've set up my gauge. This is again is another derivation of a GP bowl. Um, so the first one I'm, I'm doing of course I've got it set up here. Um, I'm just about to lift it off the wheel. Cleaning it down at the bottom with my throwing stick. Oh, a little bit of sunshine. Okay, I'll do for one. Now, these are a pound of clay and they are six and a quarter inches in diameter. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift him off. He's going to go on the end of the board there. Now these, these double veg, veggie bowls, it's one joined to the other. getting the bowl shape I make double bowls in a smaller size just for nibbles if you know what I mean. Checking in my mirror here. Yeah, I make them in a smaller size but this is this is the bigger size. Well, they say the bigger size is I, I've not really made any of these before actually. It's a new it's a new direction for me. It's nice to go in a new direction, isn't it, once in a while?
So I'm just taking it out to the gauge. All right, I've trimmed the I've trimmed the foot with the throwing stick. Or I have not trimmed it, but I have. Now all my tools go back in the same spot, okay? The lever always goes back on the side of my bowl. My throwing stick I try and put here. Sometimes I don't manage to put it there, sometimes it goes back into the pot. But that goes there. My sponge on a stick stays there. My wire is always here. Okay, and anything else that I need, like a ruler for example, is here and my mirror is there. And there's nothing else, you see, around here to get in the way. That's important because it helps you to work more cleanly, more methodically. Okay, now these, these bowls, what I do is I wet the board just here in front of that bowl, all right? Now I'm going to lift him off and I'm going to... Ooh, did I cut him? <laughs> Dropping everything. Me talking too much, you see, I forgot, I forgot to cut him off. Dear, dear. Hang on a moment, Mr. Leach. Wait a minute. Let I me mean, just get this trued up again because I've gone and trying to get it off without cutting it off is like a good way to ruin your pot, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so I've sort of trued him up again and I'm just leathering him again. Okay. So again, now taking my wire, all right, which is here on the left side of my wheel, I just take it, pull it, so the toggles, all right, go to the back here. That's the idea. That leaves my thumbs free to work the wire, to hold it down, okay? So I basically, I cut, I grab the wire, go right through and then let go. You let go and the wheel, the wheel here, I don't know if you'll see this, but the wheel takes, takes the wire back to the other side. Okay, let's see if I can get him off now. What we're going to do is I'm going to get him off and I'm going to offer him up here to this other one. Okay, so there he is. Now we put him here. Okay, and now I'm going to, now I'm going to push him, you see, like that in to the other one. Alright, wet my finger and then just give them a gentle squeeze together. You've seen me do these before, it's like the old, it's like the old um, double bowls that you see me do. Um, yeah. Maybe we can just move, move, move in, move, try and move in a touch closer here. So you can see all that's going on. Okay. What I do, you see, with the camera is instead of having the you know, so the camera's got one of those, like a, um, the screen opens out like that, and the screen is on, you see. So while I'm here on the wheel, I don't want the screen open, but I can shut the screen and it turns it off. So I do that to save the battery. And sometimes what I'm doing with the camera, when you, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why doesn't he leave the camera alone? Why does he keep fiddling with it? You know, get on with it. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to shut the screen. The trouble is when I shut the screen, I sometimes move the camera. And then I'm wondering if I'm, if I'm still in, in the picture. My mirror, I'm just gonna move the mirror because it's very slightly in the way there. We've got some rather nice sunlight. So just bringing up the clay. This next one I do. I'll kind of try and move the camera in a bit. 
Di 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 di. Roller rim. I like rolled rims on functional utilitarian wear because it gives them robustness and strength. Also, in, with GP bowls, it does keep them round. Oops. I'm a bit tall with this one. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Rubbish. Sorry about that. I went too tall with it. I was. I lost concentration, and I took it up above the gauge. And it's rather important with these that they are thrown fairly accurately to the gauge because you are pushing one against the other to join them and you want the, the, the rims to be the, the same height. So. Getting two for the price of one. Okay, let's just check the measurement of that. Never a bad idea. Oops. Even if you are using a gauge, you still need to check the measurement. Every third or fourth one, I'll probably just check the measurement very quickly just to make sure that it's, it's still, you know, I haven't knocked the gauge. Or, have you? There we are. Leather, just hold the leather to the rim. Nothing more than that. Okay, off with him. Wipe my hands. I've got my towel really handy, you see, just behind me here. Now. Him up and put him there. All right. I was to have been doing a, I was asked to go and do a workshop somewhere nearby here in some art school place. And I'm going to be for a whole week, but it got, can it was, it, it, and they didn't tell me that they cancelled it, but they had. It was good of them, wasn't it? Very considerate. <laughs> anyway, maybe doing that again 
in the spring. So I wasn't planning on doing any workshops here because I was going to be away for a week doing that, but I'm now going to so we've we've put we've got a workshop going on here. We will have here at in my studio here on the I think it's the 19th and 20th of November. So if a workshop interests you, I've got you know I've got five Shimpo wheels here. Two kick wheels like the one I'm using here. If you fancy I keep doing some practicing. And go to the website simonleachpottery.com and uh, check it out. And and sign up. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Hang on. So I want to show you. Uh, let's move this over here. I want to show you what I'm doing over there when I do this, so that you can. I know you've seen me do this before, but it never hurts to see things more than once. I say what? All right, did I cut that fellow off? Okay, right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to, I just damp it there a touch, you see, and lift the pot off the wheel, bring it here, okay, offer it up to the, now this is where it's important that the, the heights are pretty much the same, you see, but now I'm going to just push that, you see, into that one like that okay and then wet my fingers and then just give this a definite but not don't over squeeze it okay because the clay is very soft all right now these particular ones are not going to have a strap handle which i usually do but i'm going to do a different hang on here's Here's a, a, an old model of one, a smaller one, but you can see, you can see what we do. We put like a, a hole, like an I-shaped hole, yeah, and when it gets a little uh, drier, a little bit more leather hard than what it is at the moment, but it still doesn't want to be so dry that it will crack, you need to make the hole and then lift the bit where you've got the rolled rim here in the middle, you see, where it's thicker that you lift it, just gently lift it, and that, that forms the handle. All right, and then the edge, the edges round here, you just need to smooth, smooth them off. All right, um, there's, no, there's no other um, no other means is necessary to stick these two pieces together other than what I'm just what you see me doing here, okay? That does it. There's nothing like wet clay to wet clay for a good stick. Okie doke. So Yeah. So, so have a, have a go at doing the double vegetable bowl. It's a great seller. <laughs> That's important, isn't it? We don't want to be making stuff we can't sell, do we? Well, for some people, I suppose it doesn't matter whether they sell it or not, but it matters to me that I sell because um, I'm doing this for my bread and butter. You know, when you're doing this for your bread and butter, in other words, for your, for your job, for your living, it makes, you have to think practically about what you're making. Um, a, is it functional? Does it serve a purpose? 
Uh, is it something that is attractive? Is it something that the, the general public are going to like? They're going to want? Um, all these are th sort of things you have to think of. Um, so those are the sort of things I, I do think of. Um, I'm all the time sort of having ideas about this, that and the other. Here, here's an idea of mine. We'll make you laugh. But anyway, cheers. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> well, I was playing around with the idea of the toast rack. You know, when you make toast, you put it... We, we just that we didn't have one, you see. So I was thinking, hmm. That was like a prototype. You know when you get an idea in your mind and you sort of think, hang on, let me just get some clay and I'll go on the wheel and I'll just make a, a, rough, a rough model or example to see, you know, what that, what that might turn out like. Um, and you make it like, like I've done and then you, you look at it and you think, no, 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 we need to do this or we need to do that or it needs to be, or well, the slots here for the toast are too thin, they need to be made thicker. You know, and then you think, oh, well, maybe it needs to be bigger altogether. Somebody saw it the other day and they said, oh, that's for putting letters in, isn't it? <laughs> putting letters in, you see. Your letters, my lord. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I'm going to carry on now and make a few more of these. Why don't you have a go? See you next time, mate. Don't forget, keep practicing. Keep practicing. That is the key. Bye-bye now.